So when you study racism, it's typically broken down into two categories, de jure racism and segregation and de facto racism and segregation. Now, de jure is the law, right? It's things like Jim Crow, it's things like the creation of the suburbs where, which for those who were unaware, uh, when the suburbs were created following World War II and many of the grant proposals written and approved by the federal government, it was stated that black people were legally prohibited to buy homes there. And many, it said that the white people who bought homes there were legally prohibited to sell them to black people. So that's two levels of exclusion. Then of course, there's the 100 to one crack to cocaine sentencing ratio. Crack and cocaine are the same drug. They are chemically the same drug, but crack was typically used by black and brown people and cocaine was typically used by white people. 100 to one sentencing ratio. And ridiculous disparities in sentencing like that are present across the criminal justice system and have been for decades and continue to be. The crack to cocaine sentencing ratio is still 10 to one. And there was a prevailing notion in the United States that the United States is more impacted by de facto racism and segregation than de jure. And de facto racism is essentially just the racism that exists, right? It's the racism that is in the air. People are racist. We acknowledge that, but it's not written down in the books as a law. However, when you dive into the subject, it's clear that that is not the case here. We as individuals are reflections of the systems we exist within and our system and law enforcement is a huge part of this system has been unequal and biased from day one. This system, in my opinion, cannot be fixed. It needs to be dismantled and rebuilt and you do not dismantle a system with hugs. Sometimes things need to break. Sometimes you need to make a point. So if you're a white person and you think the right time to talk about race is to criticize the response to a murder which punctuates decades and decades of inequality and brutality, you definitely need to shut the fuck up and read some books.